<clears throat> okay, so today we're going to be talking about how to add the soft shutdown script to your uh, newly modified NestPy case. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start up the system right here. Go ahead and get that running. <clears throat> Okay, so first thing you want to do, obviously you want to be connected to the internet, uh, whether it be Wi-Fi or uh, LAN connected, you just got to be connected to the internet because we're going to have to terminal into the Raspberry Pi. Uh, second thing, we want to enable SSH. To enable SSH, you got to go over to RetroPi, go all the way down to Raspi Config, go into that menu. And then option uh, number five, it's going to be interfacing, interfacing options. Go ahead and hit enter. And right here, you go ahead and hit enter and enable uh, SSH. I'm not going to do that here because I already have it enabled on this image. And then once you're done, um, You're going to go over and hit finish and then just back out to the main menu. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do some of the computer work. So right here, um, I do have a link in the description below of the tutorial on how to do this. This is the same uh, PDF file that you're going to find there. We're going to scroll all the way down to step 14. And that'll show you how to set up everything from the, uh, the uh, terminal menu. Another thing you're going to need to do is go and download PuTTY, which I have right here. That's P-U-T-T-Y. Um, you're going to need the uh, IP address of your system. In order to get that, you just go into RetroPie and go down to either Show IP or I have it connected Wi-Fi, so it'll tell me in there. But either one of those will tell you uh, what's your IP address. For mine, it's 192.168.1.132. So once you log in, it's going to ask you for a login. That's going to be Pi. Hit enter. And Raspberry is going to be your password. Unless you switched it, this is what it should be. Once you enter that in, yep, I probably... There we go. Once you enter it in, it'll bring you to this screen. Uh, it'll have a bunch of different colors. It'll tell you all your information, your temperature, IP address, running processes, whatever. So once we're in there, we can go ahead and go back to our uh, script setups. And I'm not going to show you guys 100% of what's going on here because this system already has um, this set up here. But there's two versions you can set this up. You can set up the system to have just a regular old reset. Or you can have the reset act as uh, like start and select. Uh, so it would back out of a game into the main menu. So um, this one, this image I actually have set up for a reset. Um, but all my other images are set up for game exit. So and, and to, to get those two different ones... On step 14, you'll see these little hyperlinks right above here that says here. Once you click on them, they'll bring you to a page called uh, Paste Bin. And down at the bottom here, it says Raw Paste Data. You just go ahead and click on that and go to Control A, and it'll select all that. 
and then you just right click and copy it. So once you do that, whichever one you choose. So step 14 has the, uh, this is just the reset one. And then if you scroll down a little bit further, step uh, 17 has the uh, reset button to exit game. So if you want that one, you choose that. So it's either one of the two. You, you don't want to have both of them on there. Uh, but whatever one you choose, you're going to have to you know start from step 14. So let's go ahead and go into here. Um, again, I'm, I'm not going to put this all in, but all you have to do is just follow the directions here and type these in each and every one. So, um, I'm not going to type that one in cause it's going to give me an error, but we'll type in pseudo, uh, we'll type in the second one pseudo nano, cause that'll actually open up the, the file for the system. And I'll show you guys where to put the, um, the copied text that you got from here. So you just copy everything over here. It's home pie bin button nestpy.by or py. I'm sorry. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to do this with uh, one hand here. And then once you hit enter, it'll bring you into an options menu. Oh, see, I did something wrong. Yep, I misspelled nano. All right. Once we enter in here, it'll give you your um, your bin information. So you would just go ahead and copy the script directly into here, and then you would hit Control X to exit out of there. And then it'll ask you, do you want to save? You hit Y for yes. And then it'll ask you, um, do you want to save this as a new name? just automatically hit enter because we're going to keep it as the uh, the nestpy.py. So once that's done, we're going to scroll down to step 15. And again, what we're basically doing is enabling the start at uh, the script at start boot. So uh, you would just enter in sudo nano into your terminal down here at the bottom. And then um, once that pops up, I'll show you what it got, what it looks like here, actually pseudo nano etc rc dot local because th this one might be a little tricky for some people but um you'll get up this screen and it's mostly green stuff and then all the way at the bottom just scroll all the way down uh in between this yellow opt rp manager and uh the exit zero like it says here exit zero you want to copy, or you can't really copy it from here, but you want to enter in exactly how this is uh, set up. So Python space forward slash home forward slash pi forward slash bin forward slash button forward slash nestpy.py and. And again, you hit control X, hit um, Y to save it, and then enter because we're not going to change the name of the file. And then you would uh, hit enter and it'll exit out there. So once you do that, again, you're just going to keep on following the description here from the terminal. Terminal, You're going to do uh, sudo chmod u plus x forward slash etc forward slash rc dot local. And once you enter that in, it'll, it'll automatically um, run everything at the startup. And then you can either shut down your pie or do it from here. Uh, we'll, we'll just follow the tutorial and we'll do sudo shutdown. And then once you got your system back up, it'll automatically be set up to whatever you guys put it at. So if you did it for the, uh, the game exit, you would have to be inside of a game. Like if you're inside of the retro pie menu, it's not going to exit. It's only meant for emulators. So Super NES, PlayStation, NES. So if you're inside of a game and you hit the reset button on your Nest Pi case, it'll back you out of that game into the menu where all of your game lists are. But my system is just set up as a general restart. So let's go ahead and set you guys down here. So we'll go ahead and press the restart button. And there you go. The Pi restarted. It's running a script. It'll take a second for it to restart because it's properly shutting it down 
and then booting the system back up. And there we go. So it should take a little while for it to, to reboot, and that'll let you know that it's correct. Um, if you really want a, a solid answer right away, um, I'll, I'll wait until this boots up, but um, if you want to know if you've done the modification done correctly and all the scripts are correct, when you hit the power button, it's going to take a little while for that to power down. Like a stock Nest Pi case, it just powers off automatically right away. Um, with this, when you power it down, it's going to take like three to five seconds, depending on uh, the capacitor you used. So I'll show you really quick with the uh, once it boots up. So now we're booted up in the menu. So and let's say I just want to shut this down. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the power button. As you can see, the light still stays on. The screen is turned off and it'll take eh, roughly eh, maybe more like 10 seconds. So, and now it's shut off. So that means all the power is cut to the case and your modification is complete. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please just ask me uh, below. Um, and uh, for any of you people who are wondering, um, I also do monthly giveaways of items. Uh, it's random items. I do give away some of these Nest Pi cases, Raspberry Pi 3s. Um, for last month, we did a special one for whoever had a birthday uh, in the month of January. I gave away a Super NES. Uh, I will provide the link below of uh, a PayPal pool that I set up uh, that you can donate and become basically a, a donating member to that. Uh, none of the money goes to me. It goes to everybody else who I give the items away to. Uh, but if you want to feel like you want to be a part of that, uh, please go ahead and donate. That would be great. Um, also, like, subscribe, and uh, I will try and get you guys some more videos like this. And any other videos you guys want me to do, just uh, leave, a, uh, leave some information below, and I'll try and get to it. Thank you.